Yo, what is up, Slow35 fam? I hope you guys are enjoying the content we've been throwing out lately. Uh, welcome back to the channel, like uh, always. Please subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Um, it really helps me out. Also, like for the algorithm as well. Uh, today, we have an interesting video. We're going to be doing an install of some new spark plugs, NGK spark plugs to be exact. And uh, it should be uh, around a one to two hour job, approximately. Hopefully, if everything goes right, it'll be smooth sailing. Um, yeah, let's just get right into showing you guys what you're going to need for this install. And uh, have fun with it, guys, if you guys are following along. Alrighty, guys, so here we have all the stuff you're going to need for these installs. First of all, you have your spark plugs. To be exact, these are the 97506 uh, number. And they are the Laser Iridium Premium from NGK. The reason we're running a uh, one step colder spark plugs is because I am modified catalyst downpipe. Um, we have an upgraded intercooler and we also have upgraded charge pipes, boost pipes, and I think soon will be another intake as well. Um, and stage one. So you do want to go a step colder because if you don't and you run stock spark plugs, you might have knock or pre detonation, which you don't want in your car if you want it to run smoothly. So first of all, you are gonna need a spark plug gap gauge to open the gap on the spark plug. You don't wanna use this because it's not gonna be accurate and you are gonna mess up your tip for your spark plug and you're gonna have to throw it away. You also are gonna have to get this uh, feeler gauge so you guys can measure the gap between your spark plugs. Uh, stock is pretty much 0 0.032 and for this case we're going to need a 0 0.022 you're going to need your ratchet wrench whatever it is some handy dandy gloves you don't want to get your hands dirty you're going to need a 10 mil you're going to need this swivel uh, 3 8 to 3 8 um, like adapter sort of thingy you're also going to need this 3 8 to 1 half adapter you're going to need a 14 millimeter deep well spark plug socket. I got the Schwaben one from uh, Keys Motorsports. Um, you will need it because it's pretty specific to get the spark plugs out. It's also magnetic, which is kind of nice. So, yeah. Also, you're going to need this uh, 10 inch extension because you need to go kind of deep to get the spark plug. And this is going to help you out. And that is why we have this swivel thing here. So you guys can kind of move around for the back spark plugs. And then the last thing you're going to need is an E20. We got this from Home Depot. They don't sell this by itself at any kind of store. Um, so we kind of had to get the whole set. And we did have the Harbor Freight, not Harbor Freight, AutoZone set. But it only goes up to E16. Yeah. 2499. E16. This is 2599. And this whole set from Home Depot was 30 bucks. So you guys can tell me what's more worth it. You are missing pretty much four of these. So that's up for you guys to decide what you want to get. But that's all you're going to need for this. And uh, yeah. Alrighty guys. So first you're going to want to take off your engine cover first. Put that to the side and then you do have these two side ones that you need to take off you do have like three different like nuts here on each side and you want to take those off before you actually go ahead and pull this off because you don't want to rip it off and it's stuck by grommets here too on the sides so Use the ton socket to take these off as well. Either pliers or a ton socket to take them off, which is not that hard. Right, because if you look at the side, it's just only th this right here that moves to lock it. So it's not like a screw. But I use the 10 mil to just turn it. That's it. Or you could use the pliers. 
Uh, you guys are going to want to cover your positive terminal. You want to get a plastic glove right here, and then on the positive ter terminal, you want to put something over it. Because you don't want to use your wrench to take off the E20s over there and uh, spark yourself. Then we're gonna, now we're going to take off this. Oh, we got to be careful with this. Yeah. Because the wiring. We have a plastic liner here, guys. Let's be careful with that wiring. Okay, this comes off. This comes off. As you can see here, guys, it kind of has like a groove here where it goes back. And then we got to put this back on the groove for the thing. Don't forget inside. about that wire, guys. Make sure it don't fall. That's one. This is two. But um, yeah. So for this stuff, guys, you're gonna need the three eighths to one half adapter. So it connects to your T20 here, which is a one half. And then your ratchet pretty much just goes on. And you just wanna take it off over there. So we're gonna start off with this one. You might need this. Ooh, that is tight. push it down we had to cut around we're going this way guys so now it comes off pretty easily Taking both bolts, which means the brace is going to come off completely. So here we have the brace. We are going to go ahead and clean this a little bit so it's not so dirty. But here's the entire brace. Alrighty, so now we're going to go ahead and take off the 10 millimeters that we have here. There's three on this side. As you guys can see, kind of far there. One, two, and then three over here. And then there's four on the right side. One, two, three here and then four out here. So we can get back here. Because you need to be able to get back to the back spark plug. Yeah. It comes off. Oh, oh, okay, gotcha. oh. So that's this brace kind of material here that's off now. So as you guys can see, one, two, three. One, two, three, and four. Alrighty guys, so as you guys can see here, this is the coil pack. Um, you just have to lift it up and it kind of helps the wire in the back come out. Just lift it all the way up, comes out. Then you pull the wire. And you're gonna wanna set that aside you're gonna have to do that with every single one of these coil packs all the way down from here all the way down and that's basically all you have to do there so we're just gonna like do a speed run of this so we don't have to show every single one all right guys so you're just gonna want to pull on this uh, coil pack pretty tightly and it pops right back out and this is your coil pack guys this is basically what helps you throw spark in the car so that's one. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, he's taking it out right now. The socket is magnetic, so he got it out right now. But here's spark plug um, number one. Here's the spark plug. It is kind of, it is, it looks pretty bad. You can't really see it, but it says Bosch on it. Um, so these are pretty used, you can tell. Under your doing of cars you think this is a bad spark plug it looks bad it's bad according to the maestro it's bad so 
So you guys can see the gap is pretty tiny, kind of. Can't really see it. So here I have a comparison of old versus the new ones. As you can see, NGK. It is very, very sparkly. And the gaps look pretty much similar. Um, so yeah, you can see how dirty it is compared to the new one. All right, this is a, the spark plug. We're gonna do number one. And we put the point two two you see you can see point two two it's kind of finicky in the light but you can see it point two two i'm gonna put this on here uh, and check the gauge on it and it's loose if you look at it it's loose it should not be loose it should be nice tight so we're going to use this tool right here we're going to go use this to make it go down uh, tighten it up a little bit so i'm going to put it in there like this and then i'm going to pull on it down a little bit and then we're gonna test it out again so he feels like it's about right guys all right so this is the new spark plug coming in it's already gapped that point two two. two two and it goes inside and it's got magnetic obviously see how how it grabs it and it just takes it in so it's magnetic when you put this in there you want to make sure that the threads don't get uh, stripped so you got to put it in manually first hand tighten and look inside you guys can see inside the spark plug is in there and it's sitting pretty nicely in there too so pack number two Uh, second spark plug, but obviously is worse than the uh, first one. Let me get the first and, one here. And if you this can look is at number it. one compared to number two. Pack number three. Oh. Spark plug number three. It is pretty shot as well. Um, the tip looks pretty bad too. So that's the condition of that one. Number four out. Spark plug number four. Um, this one is pretty shot too. It is bad. Um, yeah. To take this bracket off of here. So it's a T30, guys. You're gonna need a T30 to take that bolt off right there. Number five, guys. This is also very, very bad. Um, yeah. This is coil pack number six, guys. Spark plug number six, as you guys can see, it looks kind of rusted. And it's absolutely black everywhere. So this one was absolutely done. I think this is what was making my car shake. It wasn't getting enough spark, it was making the engine shake a lot whenever I started the car. Last spark plug guys, this is number 6. We gapped it already to 0 0.022 and he's about to put it back in. So already guys, um, we have finished putting all the glow plugs and spark plugs already in. Now it's time to reconnect this uh, T30 back to where the wires are over there for the catalyst downpipe or downpipe, whatever you have. We have this brace to put back on. Are you sure we're not forgetting nothing? Yep. Every, all the spark plugs is now is the brace. Yeah. So this one's going to take the 10 millimeters, three on this side, four on that side. 
Okay, guys, you see you got to put this put this wire back on the way it is supposed to go and then you got to line this yeah, from good. one side and then put it back in where it goes. So he's going to start the alignment over there and then we're going to put it in. I'm going to take the glove out of the positive terminal. The positive terminal because we don't need it no more. That's why we got the plate here that got the cover. So to put this in, you have to put that groove inside first in there and then there's a knob a uh, hole here that you can go on here and then you put it on where it's supposed to but obviously it's not lined up here yet so i gotta take it out again one more time make sure these are not in the way okay make sure everything is and everything is properly done 